Francis Bourgeois, aka Luke Nicholson. Luke is a TikTok and internet content creator who is best known for his love of thrashing locomotives and excited reactions caught on a GoPro strapped to his head. Bourgeois seemingly came out of the depths of nowhere to a rising star of the internet in a matter of months. So how did Francis Bourgeois become the most famous train spotter of all time? Francis grew up in the Halsden area of northwest London from ages 0 to 7. This is where Francis developed his love for thrashing locomotives, stating that he used to travel around London on the Bakerloo line from Wollstone Junction, begging his dad to go back every weekend. He later moved to Frome Somerset during his formative school years. Francis has stated that he repressed and concealed his true self by covering up his admiration for trains because of the paranoia of being judged by classmates. Before launching his online train spotting career, he was a student at the University of Nottingham, studying mechanical engineering. He has stated that he wanted to become someone to help restore old and disused train lines to their former glory as an engineer. Luke is 6 foot 3 and slim, which led him to opportunities in modelling. Before the online train career, he was signed to Manchester modelling agency, Brothers Models. The world shut down, Luke's hair grew out and he re-established his love for trains. A bandolino! Look! <laughs> yeah! With his burning passion for locomotives relit, he decided to create a TikTok account. On the 2nd of February 2021, Luke uploaded his first video to TikTok under the name of Francis Bourgeois. The video features him on what appears to be Instagram Live to a UK rapper Digger D. However, if you inspect the video, it's clearly fake. He continued to upload these type of videos featuring Kylie Jenner and Swarms. The first time we actually see Bourgeois train spotting was on the 23rd of March 2021 with his mate Alistair. However, we wouldn't get a video of the iconic GoPro angle until the 4th of April, which features Francis questioning a Class 166 driver on the platform. He continued to create, with every post gaining more traction to his train-seeking career. Almost every post averaged well over a million views, and everyone's For You page was witnessing what happens when an unstoppable force meets an immovable object. His GoPro angle became synonymous with train spotting, a viral meme, and led people to adopting the angle for their own videos. After a summer of reverberating thrashing on the platforms up and down the UK, Francis became inundated with opportunities and a full-fledged internet star. On the 4th of October 2021, he'd make his first of two appearances on ITV's This Morning, and on the 19th of November 2021, he quit his job to pursue train spotting full-time. It was at this time when Francis set up a limited company, under the name of Luke Nicholson. After a video of Francis at a rave dropped, his fans did some investigation, and found out that he actually has music of his own, a lo-fi electric track titled Watley Quarry. After rising success and continued video creation, Francis was beginning to attract some doubters in his authenticity, which was perpetuated when people found out his real name wasn't Francis. On the 17th of December 2021, Francis made a video in which he cleared his name of allegations claiming that he's not real and all this train lingo is one big facade. In the video he states, Life is so much purer now I've reconnected with my passion. Train spotters come in all different shapes and sizes. They can even wear a true religion jacket and some Nike Air Max. I think Luke definitely has a passion for trains, but in order to make a train spotting character legitimately interesting and endearing, it requires over exaggeration. His depth of knowledge in trains, alongside a genuine love for locomotives, creates a self aware sense of authenticity upon the character that people don't mind because he's not trying to be something he's not. Fake or not, people don't care because it's wholesome. On the 19th of January 2022, Francis found himself the centre of the Gucci Times North Face fashion campaign. It's very rare that you see an influencer achieve this calibre of brand deal, especially someone who appeared out of nowhere. However, due to Luke's model and fashion background, along with his quirky enthusiasm for trains, it led to the perfect marriage in brands. Upon the release of the ad, Gucci stated, With the bold collection focusing on exploration and outdoor activities, there is no one better than Bourgeois to bring it all to life. The campaign sees Francis as a train conductor at a Wes Anderson-like train station. The deal led to verberating thrashing throughout his fan base, and plaudits to Gucci for having the vision to combine Francis's character with high-profile fashion. Since then, Francis has continued to build his brand, and work with more and more high-profile individuals such as Thierry Henry, Sam Fender, Joe Jonas, H and Rosalia. He's also continued his relationship with Gucci, which has also propelled his modelling career into heights he probably never imagined. Luke has not just created a character that facilitates his love for trains with content creation, but a movement for happiness and wholesomeness that people deeply identify with. He's a blueprint for what everyone wants an influencer to be. He embodies what we all wish we could be, someone who does exactly what they want, no matter what people think. 
Thank you so much for watching this video and your support recently, it really means the world to me. Don't forget to like, subscribe to the channel, and comment below what you want to see next.